Left side of papal tail, single shot block for a first MTP joint debridement. Did you say that cold gel feels like Colin? No, the person. Oh. Yeah. No. <laughs> feels like college. Not to lube. <laughs> so I put the cold lube on his leg. He said, this feels like college. <laughs> no. Uh, <laughs> like college, you go through. Same, but he's got stories. <laughs> oh, That's boy. It's more of the feeling. <laughs> gotcha. So the feeling of the verse said feels like college. Yeah, okay, yeah. that yeah, that sounds that sounds that sounds a bit more like it. You gotta clarify these things. Yeah, you know what? That's All right. Bad. Strike one. <laughs> All right. So we are gonna switch to the ultrasound image here. Papal tail artery in the middle. I can release the pressure, and you can see the papal tail vein. And at about relative to the vein, at about two o'clock, you can see the tibial nerve. And as I slide up the leg, see the tibial nerve joint, perineal nerve there. Slide back down, separates, back up, comes together, separates, comes together. And then right in the middle of the screen is right where they're coming together. And if I went slightly down distally, it would separate. That's where I like to inject. And by the time the injection is done, you'll see that they're totally separated from each other. OK, I'm going to clean you off. Notice that the target has moved to the right side of the screen, the medial side of the screen. And it's only about two centimeters deep. So if you rotate the depth knob one to the left. All right. Big bee sting, OK? Big pinch and a burn. OK, this is that numbing shot. It's going to numb the skin up. OK, infiltrate, se infiltrate several centimeters away from the probe, push uh, lateral to the probe. And then I'll follow that with a little infiltration along the track that the needle's going to take. Can almost make it to the nerve with that 25 gauge finder needle. And we'll be using a 22 gauge TUI needle. Connected to sterile tubing. Non stimulating approach. Okay, a lot of pressure. And then that same track that we just took with the finder needle, we're going to target the 6 o'clock position relative to the nerves that are at this moment together, perineal and tibial nerve are together. And by the time we done, get done injecting, make a mental note of how they look now. We ought to have them separated from each other. So I'll pop in just below, and I'll go just under and a little bit past. And that's where I'll make my first injection of 5 cc's. Aspirate and get 5 cc's there. Plunge her up so the air so it stays out of there. See it tracking along the medial side of the nerve there. OK, and I'll pull back a little bit to maybe 6 or 7 o'clock. You doing OK? Oh, did you stick it? Uh, just, no, we're good. We're, we're, in, we're in the spot where we're going to be. You're going to feel some pressure now. Another 5 there, just under perineal. You can see the nerves start to separate there. More 20 left. OK, we'll go three more, a little bit more towards perineal. Just pulling back my needle slightly. OK, see how it flipped over the top of perineal there? OK, three more. I'm going to follow that injection and hide or dissect over the top of perineal now. OK, three more. I'm going to advance the needle a little bit and get the medial lateral side, pardon me, medial side of perineal covered. 11 left. 11 left, so two cc's more. We're going to do 30 cc's total. OK, so perineal looks pretty well encircled. So I'm going to follow that, flatten up my needle a little bit, follow it a little bit further, and get the top side, the superficial side, of tibial infiltrated with two more cc's there. I'm going to hide or dissect over the top of tibial now. Two more. Yes, five left. Okay, five cc's left. We'll go ahead and give the rest at the tibial location. Go ahead and ask and give the last five cc's. So now notice that the nerves are completely separated from each other. It almost looks like the, a cross section of an apple core. I call this the apple core sign. And uh, we'll go full screen of that. You can see the perineal on the left side of the two, more, more laterally. Tibia more medially. If I scan distally, see them separate. Scan proximally. You have to scan quite a bit higher than we ejected to see them come together again. So our local anesthesia really did separate them. And we'll get a picture with that needle and those nerves in it. OK, and that's it. So first MTP joint fusion, single shot left popliteal block, and we are done.
Now you told me beforehand that your last nerve block experience was very uncomfortable and that it was very memorably bad. What would you say the experience was like on this one? I'd say it's memorably good. Memorably good. All right. Memorably as good as college or just just well, memorably good? I mean, the first part was fantastic. <laughs> First part being midazolam. Let's all clarify that was the Versed, not the yeah. not the not the college-like lubrication. Thing, the only thing that started to <laughs> any kind of pain was like at the very end, you could feel it get heavy. A little bit of heaviness, but otherwise, a much better experience much than last better, time. Yes. Awesome. Y'all done very well. Thank you. Another satisfied customer at the Anderson yeah. Institute.